Okay, my display tanks. Is that an eel? What? Is he? What? Is he on the outside? How did my eel get on the floor over there? How's it going, fish nerds? Dre here, and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. Today, we're going to get back out in the campaign, and uh, we're on the second aquarium now. This one's a little bit more difficult, uh, but it's getting pretty interesting. Now, what I want to do today is actually make this place look good. We were given a, a broken down aquarium to start out with that kind of looked like this. We added a little bit to it, and now we have to actually make it our own. Uh, before we do that, though, as you can see, we're having some feeding issues. I think I only have one worker right now, and I should have hired more automatically. Yeah, we got good old Romeo here doing his best job he can, but we got to get someone else to help out. Now, Claire, a little bit expensive, so uh, I'm thinking actually 18 for Eureka. Eureka knows a thing or two about machines, and that's not technically a bad thing when it comes to uh, working at an aquarium place, because we're going to have a lot of broken down pumps and heaters so you can see her fixing stats quite good so we're gonna hire them unfortunately though she doesn't seem to feed at all so we want someone who's good at feeding as well so we're gonna hire three for right now we'll hire claire later she's a little bit too expensive for my taste for right now now hopefully these fish will be okay we got a lot of hungry fish out here uh so i'm hoping that's the case now we can choose our next research as well we can get the flame angel fish uh, this is the final one that I think we can currently get, so of course we're going to pick that as our next research at rank 3, and now I guess we have to hit rank 4. Alright, so we're gonna get that. Now, what's wrong with this guy? Warning, may eat, uh, stony coral, clams, and gorgantuans. Okay, so, uh, like the other fish I think we had. Uh, cannot be housed with other flame angelfish. I thought we already got the flame angelfish. Am I crazy? Or did we get a different type of angelfish? I'll have to check my fish list later. Uh, before we do that, though, I really want to work on the layout of this place, but I want to make sure my fish are okay first. It looks like they're getting fed right now, so uh, somebody's got to feed the moray eel, though. We might want to actually start telling these people where to focus on, but it looks like hopefully... Actually, can we tell her? Uh, the only thing she does is fix. I think I made a mistake buying this one because uh, she doesn't actually feed at all. I thought they would, but uh, yeah, I know what? I'm going to fire her. I, I hate doing this, but... Um, I want to actually get Claire instead, because she's two and two, and that could be really helpful in this situation. I guess if you fire them, though, you don't actually get them. You can't rehire them. I should have just maybe hired Claire and had four working here. We might be understaffed now for a little bit until we can hire some more. All right, but Claire did the job that I wanted, and it looks like uh, everybody is being fed. Thank God. Yeah, we got the final two done. The fish are okay, the most important part. So let's get into building now. Now what I want to do, I want to utilize these wall aquariums because I think they're really cool. But can we actually put the old aquariums down? Because I'd love to have some... Oh, I can't even do that? That's kind of frustrating. I wanted some basic aquariums in the middle as well and I wanted to expand this out. Uh, so I guess we really have to focus on walled aquariums. So we are going to quite literally, now that we have $6,000, tear down everything here because I hate the look of this place. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to sell. And there we go. We got a nice square aquarium for right now. Now, what I'm thinking is I kind of want to have like a, a plus sign in the middle here and I want to spread these things out. All right, I want to see if I can do something with these observatory tanks, as they're called. Maybe, just maybe, I can kind of form this in the middle... I'd have to make a whole room in the middle, though. We'd really have to expand this out. We got the money to do so. Do I want to go that crazy, though? Because what I was thinking is trying to use these observer tanks to kind of just, like, combine them together, kind of like that. Well, can we actually combine these? Like, No, we can't go that far, but we could do something like that. Well, I actually, now that I see it, I don't know if that would, well, I think it actually would look good if we put walls in. So let's just try something here. I'm going way too crazy right now. Well, we're going to have to expand out the place, but I like the idea of adding walls to this and then hiding all this inside of it. So let's let's focus on expanding as well. We need to expand out both the sides and the length of this place. So we're doing some major upgrades right now. We might be, you know, going a little bit too crazy, but I like being a little bit crazy. So that was almost a thousand bucks right there. So we got to be very careful with our money right now. But I am all about the expansion, especially the length here. Let's add, like, something like that. How much money do I got? Okay, I got lots of money. I should be totally fine. We don't have to fill all the aquariums right now. We can slowly fill them with fish as we start unlocking them. 
Okay, now this looks a bit more like a viewing gallery to me. It looks really, really good. Still, I'd like to actually get a couple more aquariums in here and maybe even expand out. You know what? I'm going to pull these back a little bit. I feel like they're a little bit too close together. So we're going to pull all these back by one space on both sides. But now it's a little bit more open, especially on the sides. We're going to move this up one because I feel like it looks better there. And again, we're going to have to work on this side. This, These are totally off right now. Uh, one more back. That should be golden, just like that. There we go. So now we have lots of walkways around. It's more open. I like the look of it. We're pulling these back, too. We're pulling them all back. We got lots of aquariums over here. I forgot I built three on this side. Most are empty. And it keeps coming, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, I'm losing my mind with aquariums. They're pretty cheap to make, oddly enough, though. We're going to put two kind of, I'm hoping to make these, like, focus tanks in the back here. Um, we don't really have some amazing fish just yet, but hopefully we'll get some soon. And that should look really good in the back. All right, so I think you guys can kind of understand the layout now. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We're going to have to obviously add walls, add all the things, make sure all the feeders are ready, make sure all the pumps are good to go. And then we can get back to it. Now, I'm running out of money, though, so this is a little risky. So I have learned about the walls. We're going to be using those things now. Thankfully, they're pretty damn cheap. So we'll have a walkway this way. Uh, problem is this aquarium's... You know what? I might just get rid of that one aquarium, but I'd have to move all the fish. That would be a pain in the butt. Um, huh. What's the best way to go about this? All right. I'll have to get back to this, but I'm liking the layout so far. So you can see I'm going to have the employees kind of hidden behind the walls mostly, which is obviously my main goal. Really like the look from the front, though. This looks really, really good. Let's add some walls before I forget here, just so these are better hidden. Five bucks for each wall. That's I love how cheap everything is, is in this game. I, I don't know why it's so cheap, but uh, yeah. Okay, so that looks so much better. That was my envision for the middle, doing a plus sign. I think we're going to block off the back, though. We might actually not have enough room in here now that I think about it with these pumps. Oh, damn it. I might need to actually expand this out a little bit, and I didn't want to do that. That being said, these uh, aquariums are rather small. What if I put a combi mini here? Is that enough? That is enough, and a combi mini here. Then we can still get in there. We're just going to have to have a little back hidden way. I think that will look fine. It's not the perfect layout, but it's good enough for me. So, yeah, we'll do something like that. And at least they can get in there, feed the fish. And from the outside, it looks really good. I just didn't want this little back wall, but I'll have to deal with it. All right, so obviously we need a staff door. Which way? Okay, whoa, that's trippy. Um, I'm very... It looks like the door's on there, but... What? Oh, the door's open in the animation. I don't know why the door would be open. That's confusing. All right, I understand it now. Staff door. Invalid... What? Why? Okay, do I, do, can I literally not build doors and walls? So I have to like break this wall down. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, it looks like that was the issue. Okay, so we have the staff room. Um, do we have enough room for a feeder in here? These all are, well, we only have one fish in here. What does it eat? So it eats the orange pellets. So we'll try and keep most of the fish orange pellet eaters in here because uh, it's gonna be extremely difficult to fit much more in there. Where the heck, okay, it's been a couple of days since I last played. Um, problem being, this is even, like, oh, crap, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Um, I could put it here, but that puts that pump out of the way. If I, there's no way to do this. There's no way to put a feeder in here without blocking something. Because if I put it over here, they can't get in and feed these fish, I don't think. We could try it. We run the risk of this tank not being fed, though. This is why I can't wait for that pump. Maybe I should have waited for the damn pump because this is going to allow me to put my uh, filters in one room together. I'm, I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but uh, that's the way I wanted to play it, damn it. Okay, I wonder if I should expand out these tanks. Can I expand out already? I can just move them. Unfortunately, you cannot upgrade tanks after you put them down. Now, it doesn't say that this aquarium is blocked. As you can see, uh, if we look over here, we do have a blocked aquarium. Uh, because we have two filters on the back and no place to feed the fish. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out what the hell I'm going to do here. We might have to do the combi mini again. Let's actually see if that's enough to do this. So we'll sell those. We'll have, so we'll have to deal with everything as it comes. Um, damn it. That's just not enough water quality, which is why I had this other one here. So what we're going to have to do is... Uh, 
I can move this. I can actually move this to a different tank if I wanted to. That might be a smart idea. These guys eat orange pellets. Royal Grandma. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, take my, my little fish. We'll throw them in here for right now. And that puts the water quality at 56%, ladies and gentlemen. We need 55. So, oh, these poor, poor fish. We have not decorated these things either. I'm going to have to earn some money before we decorate, guys. So bear with me. Uh, we got a lot of work to do right now. So the moray eel needs a new filter. We'll put another combi mini on there. Uh, might actually be smarter to just do an ordinary filter because we didn't need heat. But uh, these guys are going to get bigger as well, so they're going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. Uh, we'll have to wait for something else that eats the uh, shells to put in here. So this one's just going to be temp for right now and empty. Uh, all right, so let's put some walls up. This is done. We could technically put another tank on this wall over here, but I, I, that's just, I think that's going a little bit too crazy. So... There we go. Put a door there later. Same idea over here. Let's just add the walls while I have the wall tool out. So this is all connected. I think I'm going to get rid of this tank and move these guys somewhere else. That way, this whole room's connected from side to side. I think that will look really, really good. And we'll probably expand out this wall. Let's do that now, actually. This is where this game gets expensive when we expand out the walls. But if we expand this out one, it just gives me enough room in the back for my workers to be happy. All right, and back to wall placing. So that here like so, and you get the idea, this over here like that. Now we just got to figure out which place needs what fish uh, and figure out what the hell we're going to do with this tank because right now it doesn't really look that... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. So we got to move these guys to a different tank. What are these? The Royal Grandmas. Um, I might throw them in one of these middle tanks. Do they eat? They eat the green ones, don't they? No, they do eat orange. Perfect. Okay, that's actually great. So we got to take one royal grandma at a time and get them into this empty tank in the middle here. So there you go. There you go, buddy. Uh, I think I'm doing them all. There we go. And there we go. 12 out of 15. I think I put the other... Is this the other royal grandma? It is. Okay, I probably should have just put them in there. But that's all right. We'll just move this dude over to the tank that I just moved these guys into. And we're going to have to... Well, no, each both of them have a filters on. Unfortunately, once again, the water quality is just not good enough. So, oh, I hate doing this, but we, we, we have to sell one. We have to sell one of these little jerks. We could put them in a tank alone, but uh, that would just be very disorganized, I think. So, yeah, we'll sell one, keep the water quality safe. That's more important than having uh, as many fish as possible. Now, we're going to have to stock each aquarium, too. We'll get to that. I just want to do the layout first. So, uh, what am I missing? Doors and, like, workbenches and everything. So, there's your damn doors. And there are some more doors. This is actually... I like this layout. I think this will look really good. We can add some more aquariums into these walls. Expand this out so it's not an equal square later. But, again, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Uh, we can even expand out this wall to have an aquarium. Oh, man, there's so many cool things we can do with these walled aquariums. I'm very excited. All right, so what, what, what are we working with in this one? These guys eat the green pellets right now. You know what? Because this is so combined, uh, we can go from one side to the other. We'll have the uh, pellets over here, and, well, maybe we should put the same thing. Yeah, we're going to do the same damn thing on this side. So we have one right here. Let's get a green pellet. So there we go. We have food on both sides. Let's actually do the same thing with workbenches. That way... We just need as many of these as possible because they need to be in close re reach to our employees. We've got to remember, we fired an employee already, so we are understaffed. So travel time is going to be a very big concern. This one's fine right here. We'll just throw a workbench in here as well, or tool station as they're called. Uh, that's good to go. So it looks like, uh, taking a mental note of everything, what do we got over here? We have... Oh, uh, why... Why are these guys already here, but we don't have them? Like I said in the last episode, one of my favorite fish so far is, uh, what are these guys called? The half-and-half half Chromis. Unfortunately, they started in our gallery, but we can't put them down anymore. So these little jerks eat the orange pellets, so we'll put one down in here. And again, you get the idea. Tool stations everywhere. The more, the merrier. Uh, and we'll work on the empty aquariums later, adding filters and whatnot. Not too concerned with making sure everything has filters right now, because not everything has fish. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, all right. I think aside from decorations, which I'll work on before we get started because we have some empty aquariums here. Let's see what these guys like. Um, I don't think they really care. So size. Yeah, these ones don't need anything. So we'll just try and make it look nice. We have some few new things to do. Holy crap. All right, rubble. 
Five out of zero. I guess it doesn't matter to them, but I like the look of it, so I'm going to put that in there. And behind that, I'm going to put some driftwood. There we go. That's pretty cool looking. Same idea on this one already. We got rubble in the back. This is the uh, booty back. Um, these guys, they're bullies, so it doesn't really matter what they have in their aquarium. So what else do we got that's new? Eelgrass. These guys aren't eels, but they're going to get some eelgrass anyways, damn it. Speaking of eelgrass, I wonder if eels will like the eelgrass. Well, they have water lettuce right now. We're going to sell that. Give the I mean, I got to assume eels want eelgrass, right? So here you go, bros. Have some fun in your eelgrass. All right, what are we missing? What are we missing? What do these guys got? Oh, you guys are not looking too nice over here. Let's get some small rocks because uh, we don't have too many of those in this just yet. We, they already have a cave. I really like the eelgrass, so I'm probably going to do that a lot. I think that's good enough for right now. You know what? Let's throw a water lettuce in there. They need something. There you guys go. Have fun with that. That's a pretty damn ugly aquarium. I'm going to be totally honest. Now, this one, what the hell are we going to do in here? I think we're going to go crazy with the eelgrass again. What we're going to do? Oh, we're going to go real crazy with the eelgrass, ladies and gentlemen. I'm spending all my money right now. Uh, and in the back, this is what I did in the last tank, though. I don't have too many choices right now, to be fair. So I'm doing my best with what I have. Let's rotate these so it doesn't look so uniform. I like that. It looks natural, though, you know? Okay, my display tanks. Is that an eel? What? Is he? What? Is he on the outside? Zebra eel. Is he in the... He's... Is he... What? Where is this eel? It's not even in tank 19. It's just on the ground. Uh... Uh... What the frig is going on right now? Does it say where he is? All right, you know what, dude? We're going to have to, uh... Wait, is it... The only eels I have are on this one. What the... I'm so confused at where that eel came from. He's still there. Let's just hit... Okay, he's gone now. I just hit play for a quick second. So, I... Do I have three eels in here now? What the hell? No, I have two! How did my eel get on the floor over there? What the hell was that? All right, well, that was weird, but I think we're ready to rock and roll and uh, kick some ass here. Now, the one thing I do need is benches and whatever else we can give to these guys. So we'll throw a bench here, throw a bench here. Um, do we want? Yeah, let's put one bench here like that, one bench here like that. Kind of make these nice and uniform and pretty, you know. And then it looks like you can put them by the walls over here, but they can't look inside the aquarium. So... I could do it this way, but it just would look weird with only three spaces in between. So I think that's enough seating areas for right now anyways. So let's get back into the game. Let that person rest. There you go. Oh, I even got a star for giving her a seat. Now I just want to make sure all my fish are okay. Looks like so far so good. Now we have a lot of empty aquariums here. So I do have to unlock some of these guys. I'm actually really excited because we get... Did we get the... We did get the flame angel fish. I, I'm trying to remember if we put any in or not. We also got the black bar soldier fish recently, but I don't think we've done the flame angel fish yet. So I think we're going to try and do a flame angel fish tank or like a community tank. I just want to make sure because that, that one's my eel tank. Uh, and I'm just trying to remember what we have going on right now. So let's open all the tanks with fish in them currently just to see what we're working with here. All right. So, yeah, I'm not seeing any flame angel fish. These guys are the king demonzels. Uh, those are the half halves. Uh, booty backs are over here. Eels. Yeah, you know what? We only got two yellow tanks in tank one. Huh, interesting. And yeah, let's do some flame angel fish. Let's see if we can make maybe a community tank of these. We don't have any soldier fish here too, so that was in my last aquarium. I just want to see what these guys are working with here. I didn't mean to click that. So prestige points are good with this fish. Uh, they get ecology points for whenever guests observe. We need at least three. Oh, no, this is the size of them. I'm trying to remember what each, each, each one of these are. Tropical, we're okay with that. Uh, requires water quality, 55. What? Plant lover. Okay, so we need some plants in the tank. That's the easy. Now, he cannot be housed with flame angelfish. So, uh, yeah, this is going to have to be a solo, dude. Uh, I, I guess we could put different community fish with him, though. So, being that he can only be housed alone, I don't want to put him in a major aquarium. I think we'll throw him in this one over here. And we'll pause it because we have to obviously set this thing up. I don't want to kill the poor guy. So to play it safe, let's get a good filter. And let's get a good heater on this just so we don't have to deal with it later. Uh, we can still feed him. This one's a nice big tank. And we need some uh, plants in here to make this little dude happy. So plants, 
I love my plants. So there you go, buddy. There you go. And you know what? We'll put a log in the back. There you go. That's an aquarium if I've ever seen one for a flame angelfish. Now, we need green pellets as well. We don't have green pellets over here, so we may as well do that now. And this aquarium is currently only stocked 3 out of 15. So let me actually see. Maybe we can put the black bar soldier fish in here. These guys are both kind of picky fish. Uh, dislikes lights. Cannot be housed with a tank with lights. We don't. We have not unlocked any lights yet, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, we might have to give him his own tank, though, because when we do get lights, we're going to have to add them to all these tanks. So I think I'm going to skip that guy for right now. We don't have any um, Demonzels in this place, I don't think. So I'm going to put some Azirs in here. Let's just get a nice community tank of different fish. This might be risky because they might eat each other. But we'll throw some Azirs in there and some Kings. Can Kings... I remember that Kings had an issue with... Uh, cannot be housed with a bully. Oh, no, it's a wimp. So we're totally cool with this. But I already have a lot of those, I think. it's. I think it tells me how many I have. So we have... It says times 11 times 3. Yeah, you know what? What if we throw a Dottie back in there? I think, I think I like the idea of that. So we'll throw a couple dotty backs in here. And there we go. That's a fully stocked tank. So I'm pretty comfortable with that. These fish should be good together. And that's the first kind of community tank that I built. Seems like they're really enjoying this tank, as you can see. So I think we did it right. Oh, yeah, man. Look at this. They are giving me so much stars for this tank. That is awesome. So they, they clearly do like, it looks like, community tanks. I'm not a huge fan of community tanks. I like, you know, one fish tanks, so I'm going to have to get used to what they like. Uh, now, this thing doesn't have anything in it or any food. It's actually almost fully stocked, so those fish are going to get big, so I'm not too worried about that. I, I shouldn't worry about fully stocking tanks. I, I want to get as many tanks going on as possible. All right, so, uh, yeah, now that I look at it, they are having issues getting to these tanks because of this pellet feeder. So, how am I going to... They're, they're either going to have to travel with the pellets or I'm going to have to get crafty here with how I want to do this. All right, screw it. For right now, I hate doing this. I'm just going to put this outside just to let these fish eat. And I'm going to try and think about how I want to kind of strategize this, the look of this thing. Because I like the look of it. I just realized it's not in the middle, like right where the entrance is, and that's going to forever bother me. But it is in the middle of the whole gallery. Looks pretty damn good. When we have the walls up, you can really tell. I do like the layout of this place. It does look sleek. And we're earning uh, a lot of prestige really quickly. I had 70 like two minutes ago, and now I'm at 143. So I must be doing something right. I want to see what happens when we hit that big 160. Because uh, we don't know until we hit it. So, yeah, these guys are really liking this tank over here. I'm so happy that I built a community tank. We'll definitely have to build some more community tanks now, though. Because clearly, that's what they uh, prefer. Check out the size of my moray eels now. They seem to be getting along totally fine. I don't know if they're fully grown yet. I think it takes them four days. So they should be pretty close to being uh, fully grown. And look at that. We got a coral grouper. All right. You've unlocked the coral grouper. Let's take a look. It has a couple of caracorites we haven't seen before. They are greedy, which means they eat more in lower water quality more than most animals. So they eat and poop a lot. Great. They dislike con specifics, which means only one may be kept per tank or they'll kill each other, which some people like to watch, I guess, but uh, not me. Finally, they may eat fish and crustaceans, which are smaller than itself. Hover over the warning icon to find out more. I like that the developer is really focusing on uh, fish species and how they react with each other, because that's the a big thing in the aquarium hobby, making sure you have a tank that works together. So... Being that this guy, he sounds really cool. I'm excited to get him. I think I'll put him in this small tank over here alone with maybe another aggressive predator of his size. Maybe even an eel. So yeah, let's do that. Let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. May eat or damage fish with size 2 or less. Okay, so as long as the fish is bigger than 2, we're golden. Uh, okay, so he's in here. He's already 5 out of 15. We need a place for him to hang out, so we'll throw that in there right now. Make sure he's happy. Now, I'm only going to add what he wants because we might have another fish that wants something else and it's going to need that space. So, two or less. So, we can put a royal grandma in there. Do we... Oh, man, I'm having a hard time remembering what we have. This guy's a size four. We don't have a black bar soldier fish yet. Uh, he's definitely will fit with this tank. So, I think we're going to throw this dude in there. And nine out of 15, that's pretty damn cool. That's a cool two fish tank in my opinion. And what else do these guys want so they actually want one more cave so they are both cave lovers meaning we're going to need another one does actually the rubble works as a cave I didn't, I didn't even think about that you know what yeah that's perfect because that will fit the rest of this 
And that's all they want, man. Wait, wasn't that a cave? All right, I think I read that wrong then. Oh, that's Rock 5. I... That's... Okay, that's confusing. I thought it looked like... It looked like the cave emblem, but no, that's Rock 5. So I guess, obviously, certain fish are going to like rocks. All right, ma made a small mistake there. No, let's not sell the aquarium. Uh, I just want to sell those damn rocks. Cancel. Oh, I hate that... The, I, don't, I don't like the toggle sell thing. It's kind of weird. So we're going to sell just the rock and do this once again. Unfortunately, all we have is logs right now, so we'll... Try and make this as pretty as possible with what we're working with. And I'm going to throw some more eelgrass. Eelgrass always looks good with logs, so I think that should be good. Now we have two unique fish in a tank all by themselves. So how are we doing, actually? New pumps have been unlocked. All right, this may change drastically my whole layout, which I, I should have waited, man. I should have waited. Let's pick the next research. Power Combi 2. I think I'll maybe wait till that, but let's see how this thing works. So if we go to... The, uh, the actual mechanics here and go to basic pump. So, oh, okay. Impressive work. The latest expansion. You've proven yourself ready for even more advanced aquarium designs techniques. It's time to learn about pumps. I was just trying to learn myself and I just, I guess I got to the uh, prestige points that I needed. So it's going to tell me how to do it now. Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment away from your tanks instead of attaching your heaters, filters, etc. directly to the tank. You attach them to the pump, which is several tiles away. Okay, so it's not going to be as long distance as I hoped for, it looks like. Demonstrate your understanding of pumps by building a pump and a tank configuration matching the specification in your objectives. Okay, so you can see, actually, it does have a pretty damn big radius. So we're going to need, like, a pump room. We're going to need multiple pump rooms if we want to do it that way. I kind of actually like it the way I'm currently doing it, but obviously we'll have a pump room for part of it because we have to do it for this quest. But yeah, guys, I think we're going to wrap up this one here. We had a pretty eventful episode. I pretty much, well, I did totally rearrange this aquarium. What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? Do you have any suggestions on how I could improve the look of it? Uh, now that we have the pumps, I could, I'm definitely going to do the pump, uh, something with the pumps for this middle room. Maybe we can put the pumps back in this room. And I, I don't know. We, we, I'll have to figure it out. I'm going to think on it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what you like to see in this, uh, feel free to put them down below. I'm always reading the comments. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're on day nine of store number two. And yeah, it's going really, really well. We haven't killed a fish yet, at least. And that's always a good thing from an Aquarius standpoint. So yeah, guys, do not forget to ding that bell if you do want to be notified of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching and liking.